Assalamu alaikum everybody, I am back with another video. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we plot the ion ranges using SRAM. So let's start the SRAM. Let's go to the trim calculation. Okay, in previous video, I taught you that how can we edit the ion. So let's repeat, go to the periodic table. Select nitrogen ion for today. And we are going to bombard the nitrogen ion with an accelerating energy of 50 kilo electron. In the tab of target data, you have to select your target here. I'm going to use zinc of five with the thickness of 1000 angstrom. You have to compose your uh, target in this portion. So go to the periodic table, select the atom of zinc, add new element layer, go again to the periodic table, select the atom of oxygen, and here we are done with the composition. From the tab of special parameters, you have to select the number of ions at what your data will be auto-saved. And the total number of ions you are going to bombard on the target of zinc oxide, it will be 9,999. You have to add the density here, the density will be 5.61 grams per centimeter cube for the target of zinc oxide. From output disk files, check ion ranges, then collision details, say yes, save input, and run trim. Here we are done with the first process. Just to speed up the process, you have to minimize this tab. Okay. So basically, we have two types to plot the ion ranges plot. One is via image. You have to go to the distributions like this ion distribution. And here you go. This is the image showing ion ranges. The depth on x-axis and the ion ranges on the y-axis. Save as. Uh, I'm going to save it in D. So just name it, I'm naming it as trim picture and save it there. Saving image is one option. Another option is go to the file, check ion recoil distribution and just select your location where you want to save the data. I'm going to save it in trim and press OK. I've saved the data. So just minimize this whole tab. So also go to the Excel now. You have to import your saved ion range data here. Maximize the tab. Go to the file and open. Double click this PC. Go to the exact location where you have saved your data. I have saved it in D. Go to D, then stream. Files. Okay, this is my data. Select it. Next. Select space. And then again, next. Finish. All right, this is the data. Scroll the sheet down. Okay. We are going to select these first two columns. One is showing the depth that was on x axis, and another is showing the range that was on y axis. So just copy the scroll to column and copy. Close it. And you have to paste it in the new tab. It is taking some time to get tested here, but eventually it will be fixing here. Okay, the data is pasted. Then you have to save it in text form anywhere on your PC. I'm going to save it on this PC. And that on desktop, you have to change the type here. You have to select the text format, text tab delimited. Okay, and I'm going to save it with the name 
nitrogen ion as that and it's on desktop save yes for plotting the ranges by yourself you will need the software like origin so i'm going to start on the origin you have to import that texted formatted uh, excel file here go to the file import single ascii this is desktop and i have to find my file which i saved here with the name and i at zn open it here So you have to select the both tabs, press Control and left click, and here we go. We have selected a both A of X and B of Y. You can see I have selected complete. Then you have to select this line and to the line here. Here we go. This is the graph or the plot SM as we have uh, viewed in that image format. I'm going to show you both the plots. This is that we have constructed ourselves uh, via SRIM, Excel, and Origin. And another that was directly extracted from the SRIM. This was the graph. So both are identical. So guys, I hope I have made my point clear. So thank you for watching.